I want the button column that's on the left to be smaller so I need to give a ratio for the second column so I want it to be let's let's try let's give it eight stars and see how it looks okay this is too small eight to one is not good so six to one this looks nice four to one is good so the second column is four times wider than the first one so this means the screen is divided into five and four units are given to the second column and one unit is given to the first one so I when you leave this empty it's one star by default we will add a stack panel that's filled up with buttons vertically I can add another grid and divide it but I will use a stack panel because maybe I will need to change the location of the buttons in the future and it's much easier with a stack panel because everything goes over each other automatically so I add the stack panel and now I'm giving which column it will be added to number zero okay and inside the stack panel I will add some buttons and while I'm at this lesson I just I don't want to add buttons with simple text in them I like to also show you buttons with an image in the middle okay so this is the template you have to declare the body of the button and inside this button you have to put a stack panel because this stack panel will be holding the image and it will be automatically aligning the image that you put inside the button and then you put the image itself inside the stack panel so this is what makes WPF so powerful in this button you can even put a data grid or a list box so you can make any kind of implementation as you want I put the image inside and the source of the image is it get it feeds from the resources files because my resources are empty you can access resources from here my resources are empty so I cannot find anything so what I do is after I save my project I will put some photos in the resources file so I can connect them to the image I'll just open a new folder named resources and copy some pictures in them so on the right side I click show all files and it will show my, my hard drive you see because I added resources recently it shows it now so I will use include in the project and now as soon as I include it in the project you can see that the image source it's written like this I can directly access the fo photographs the PNG files inside the folder so I can see here I have some different photographs I can choose anything so to show it to you I'm gonna put four buttons just to give you an example of how it's done 
So there's one eraser. This is a back button. I'll use this one eraser. Okay, so the PNG is a white eraser and the back color as you see the white is not so visible because the background has a light color so I'm gonna choose a dark color for the button background I'll choose let's choose okay this is nice you see because the PNG is transparent I can change the background color without needing to modify the bitmap and this is a flexible way to do it because if every time I had to change the background and go back open with a bitmap editor it would be very hard to do and after you start programming you will have some icons in your personal library and they will be ready for your service you'll just choose one like erase add modify as you see i made the background blue but the the icon is too big and the button is it's square because it's in default so i want to make the button a little more smaller so what i will do is i will modify the height let's say 200 uh, 150 would be enough i think okay and now another problem happens i made the height of the button smaller but the image inside is big so what i have to do is i have to resize it to fit inside the button about stack panels there's a very important point here that you need to know because at the first time i started wpf i made a mistake and i didn't know this function so you see that the image is outside the stack panel the reason of this is because the orientation of the stack panel it's vertical so what it does is it doesn't align the objects inside horizontally it only aligns them it aligns the zero point to the zero point of the stack panel and the stack panel zero point is the upper left corner in this situation so there's a property of the stack panel called orientation and when you make this horizontal it fits perfectly inside and if you want it to be far from the sides a little more you can play with the margin don't forget to like and subscribe Don't forget to like and subscribe.